I know most of you are very happy and excited and you can't even wait to install iOS 15 on your iPhone with all these new amazing features. This is what you need to do before updating to iOS 15 on your iPhone. Very necessary. Anyways, welcome back to the channel and without wasting much time here, let's jump to the video now. So the very important thing you need to do is you need to back up your iPhone and I'll show you a very simple step you can do that. So you head over to your settings, then you tap on your name tap on iCloud, scroll down and make sure you have iCloud drive turned on. Now tap on iCloud backup, tap on the switch to turn it on. So once you have this turned on, everything on your device will automatically back up to your iCloud when your phone is connected to a Wi-Fi network and also connected to power in the lock screen mode. But if you just want to go straight forward, you can just tap on backup now to begin the process. If you use an iPhone 12 that supports 5G network, then you'll be able to back up to iCloud using the cellular network. That option will be available for you if only you have an iPhone 12 with a 5G network. So to connect to iTunes, you need to make sure you connect your device to your computer using your USB cable. So you see this little phone icon, then you click on it. Scroll down to backups and you have two backups option automatically backup or manually backup and restore you can choose any of them from this option so you can even backup your device to iCloud from your PC if only your PC is connected to the internet you can also perform a full backup of your iPhone which will be stored on the computer under the automatically backup option so I think anytime you connect to your device it will automatically back up anything it has to back up to the computer but for the manual backup just click on backup now and it will begin the process after backing up all your files to the computer from your iPhone and maybe in the process of you updating your device there was a problem, you have no worries because you'll be able to restore the backup once you come back to this page. So you see restore backup, then you just click on it, then you select where you saved the backup file. Here's another second method you can try out if the first method did not work for you or you find iTunes a bit complicated. So you can go ahead and download 3 U2s or I will leave a link down in the description so you can click and download. Once you have the application or software installed on your PC, open it, then connect your iPhone to your computer. Now click on Toolbox, then under Common Tools, click on Backup and Restore. You have this page open up. You find your device with some little bit of information about the device. So at the down part, it says backup includes app data, photos, contacts, messages, call history, notes, bookmarks, desktop and settings. And you have backup path. You can also change the path if you don't want. So you can select where you would like to save your backup. So once you are done with this, you just tap on backup now to begin the process. But if for any reason you don't want to backup everything on your device, you can click on customized backup. So over here you can select either to backup your photos, music, ringing tone, contacts, notes or apps. You can select any of these. So once you are done, you can choose your path where you'd like to save these backups. Then you tap on backup now to begin the process. Once you have your backup file ready, you don't need to worry about you upgrading to iOS 15 and losing your data. So after upgrading, when you come back to this app, you can head over to custom restore or you can restore from view or data backups. Then you select where you saved the backup file, then you restore. If you found this video helpful, kindly drop a like on it and also share to others who need to see this. Also, let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Which videos would you like to see on iOS 15? And I have an iPhone 7. If you use an iPhone 7 and you'd like to see more videos on iPhone 7 running iOS 15, then let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Subscribe for more future tech videos and I'll see you in the next one. Stay safe.